The third and final part of this trilogy delves into the variety of chordates left on the world of Prius as excellent hunting game and food for the earthlings with the highest of tastes. If you haven't seen them yet, videos about the plant, fungal, and invertebrate life can be found on the channel. The links to those videos can be found in the description. If you like this kind of content, you can gain more up-to-date progress on the project in future videos on the Prius Discord server, which can be found also in the description and as well as the pinned comment. But if you don't want to do that, but want to see more of this content, make sure to subscribe. This is going to be a long video, so sit back and get something to snack on or leave it on as background audio if you so wish. Thank you, and without further ado, enjoy the video. A tunicate is a marine animal, a member of the subphylum tunicata. It is a part of chordata, a phylum which includes all animals with dorsal nerve cords and notochords. The subphylum was at one time called urochordata, and the term urochordates is still sometimes used for these animals. Despite this, it is not a fish, and is more of its own thing. On Karinkus tushaitscha, otherwise known as Chinook salmon, is the largest and most valuable species of Pacific salmon in North America, as well as the largest in the genus Onkarinkus. Its common name is derived from the Chinookan peoples. Salmon are well known for their spawning runs, which in some places get farmed by people and bears alike. Polyodon spathula, otherwise known as the American paddlefish, is a species of basal raifin fish. It is the only living species in the paddlefish family Polyodontidae. This family is closely related to the sturgeons. The scoop, Stenotomus curisops, is a fish which occurs primarily in the Atlantic from Massachusetts to South Carolina. Along with many other fish of the family Sparidae, it is also commonly known as porgy. Scoop grow as large as 46 centimeters or 18 inches in length and weigh around 1.4 to 1.8 kilograms or 3 to 4 pounds, but they usually average around half a kilogram or around half to 1 pound. Bathylinchops exilis, or the javelin spookfish, is a species of barrel eye found in the northern Pacific and in the eastern Atlantic Ocean near the Azores, where it is found at depths of around 640 meters, well below 1800 feet. Micropterus trachyolii, more known as the Guadalupe bass, is a rare species of fish endemic to the U.S. state of Texas, where it is also the official state fish. It is restricted to creeks and rivers, and is listed as near-threatened. Squalus acanthias, or the spiny dogfish, is distinguished by two spines and no anal fin. It lives in shallow waters and further offshore in most parts of the world, especially in temperate waters. If captured, the shark can arch its back to pierce its captor with spines near the dorsal fins that secrete a mild venom into its predator. The Atlantic sturgeon, Acipenser oxyrhynchus oxyrhynchus, is a member of the family Acipenseridae, and along with other sturgeon, it is sometimes considered a living fossil. The fish can reach 60 years of age, 4.6 meters or 15 feet in length, and over 360 kilograms or 800 pounds in weight. Carcarius taurus, or the sand tiger shark, is a species of shark that inhabits subtropical and temperate waters worldwide. It inhabits the continental shelf, from sandy shorelines and submerged reefs to a depth of around 190 meters, or 500 feet. It is one of the largest extant shark species. Acantharodius chancainensis, also known as the canca spiny bitterling, is a temperate freshwater fish belonging to the Acheolagnathinae subfamily of the family Cyprinidae. It originates in the inland rivers of Asia. Squatina japonica, or the Japanese angel shark, is a shark family belonging to the family Squatinidae, found in the northwestern Pacific Ocean off of China, Japan, and Korea. It is a bottom-dwelling shark found in the sandy habitats down to 300 meters or 1,000 feet deep. The ice goby, Leucopsarian petersii, is a species of goby in the subfamily Gobionellinae and the only member of its monotypic genus. This goby has a thin, elongated, eel-like body up to 13 centimeters or 5.1 inches in length. It exhibits neoteny, retaining a larval form even when a sexually mature adult. It lacks scales but has a swim bladder and a small pelvic fin. Amphiprion polymnus, also known as the saddleback clownfish or yellowfin anemone fish, is a black and white species of anemone fish with a distinctive saddle. Like all clownfish, it forms a symbiotic, mutualistic relationship with sea anemones and is unaffected by the stinging tentacles of its cnidarian host. Symphysodon aquifiaceus, 
or the blue discus or brown discus, is a species of cichlid native to rivers of the eastern and central Amazon basin. It is largely restricted to water with a high temperature of 25 to 32 degrees Celsius, or 77 to 90 degrees Fahrenheit, and with a pH of 5.2 to 7.7. Heterodontus francisci, or the horned shark, is a species of bullhead shark in the family Heterodontidae. It is endemic to the coastal waters off the western coast of North America, usually seen around the Gulf of California. Notropus amabilis, also known as the Texas Shiner, is a species of rayfin fish in the genus Notropus. It is found in the Colorado River and the greater Rio Grande area, in Texas and northeastern Mexico. Pomoxis nigromaculatus, also known as the black crappie, is a freshwater fish found in North America, one of the two types of crappies. It is very similar to the white crappie in size, shape, and habits, except that it is darker and has a pattern of black spots. The Slingja wrasse, Epibulus incidator, is a species of wrasse in the family Labridae, which is native to the tropical waters of the Indo-Pacific, where it occurs around coral reefs. The zebra moray, Gymnomariana zebra, is a species of marine fish in the family Marianidae, and is the only member of its genus. The zebra moray is considered as a medium-sized fish, even though it can reach a maximum length of 150 centimeters, or around 5 feet. Ostracion cubicum, or the yellow boxfish, is a species of boxfish. It can be found in reefs throughout the Pacific Ocean and Indian Ocean, as well as the southeastern Atlantic. Ostracion cubicum reaches a maximum length of 45 centimeters. As the name suggests, it is indeed box-shaped. Nema T. Leotris magnifica, known by a variety of common names including fire goby, magnificent firefish, fire dartfish, or fire red goby, is a species of dartfish native to the Indian and Pacific Oceans from the eastern coast of Africa to the Hawaiian Islands, and from the Austral Islands north to the Ryukyu Islands. Trachymus draco, or the greater weaver, is a benthic and demersal venomous marine fish of the family Trachinidae. Trachinus draco has been shown to occur in depths ranging from shallow water up to 150 meters, or around 300-ish feet, where it inhabits mostly muddy or sandy grounds. Neoclinus blanchardae, or the sarcastic fringe head, is a small but very hardy saltwater fish that has a large mouth and aggressive territorial behavior, for which it has been given its common name. The swimming movements of these fish are complicated. Their swimming consists of short, fast, dart-like movements. Mobula birostris, or the giant manta ray, is a species of ray in the family Mobulidae, and the largest species of ray in the world. It is circumglobal and is typically found in tropical and subtropical waters, but can also be found in temperate waters. It can reach a mass of over 1,600 kilograms, or 3,600 pounds. The Atlantic Goliath grouper, or Itahara, is a saltwater fish of the grouper family and one of the largest species of bony fish. This species has been observed at depths ranging from 1 to 100 meters, or 3 to 328 feet. Teropterus angustriostris, or the short bill spearfish, is a species of marlin native to the Indian and Pacific Oceans, with occasional records from the Atlantic. This species occurs in open waters not far from the surface, and can reach a length of 230 centimeters, or 7 feet. Thunus albicares, or the yellowfin tuna, is a species of tuna found in pelagic waters of tropical and subtropical oceans worldwide. Yellowfin is often marketed as aki, and is among the largest of tuna species, reaching weights of over 180 kilograms, or 400 pounds. Calorhynchus capensis, also known as cape elephant fish, is a smooth silvery or bronze fish which grows to 120 centimeters, or around 4 feet, in total length, with a digging proboscis on the front of its snout. The first dorsal fin has a large venomous spine in front of it. Hydrolagus collii, also known as the spotted ratfish, is a chimera found in the northeastern Pacific Ocean. Often seen by divers at night in the Pacific Northwest, this cartilaginous fish gets its characteristic name from the pointed, rat-like tail. The black bullhead catfish, Amerius melos, is a species of bullhead catfish. Like other catfish, it has the ability to thrive in waters that are low in oxygen, brackish, 
turbid, and or very warm. It also has barbels located near its mouth, a broad head, spiny fins, and no scales. Terrapogon coderni, also known as the Bangai cardinal fish, is a small tropical cardinal fish in the family Epigonidae. It is the only member of its genus. This attractive fish is popular in the aquarium trade and grows up to 8 centimeters or just 3 inches in total length. An anchovy is a small, common forage fish of the family Ingralidae. Most species are found in marine waters, but several will enter brackish water, and some in South America are even restricted to freshwater. More than 140 species are placed in 17 genera, many of which were brought to Piraeus. Caranx megalipagus, or the bluefin trevally, is a strong predatory fish with a diet dominated by fish and supplemented by cephalopods and crustaceans as an adult. It is a species of large, widely distributed marine fish classified in the jack family, Carangidae. Saline vomer, or the lookdown, is a game fish of the family Carangidae. The head has the mouth set low and the eyes are high. The overall profile of the head is concave. The giant oarfish is the species of oarfish of the family Regalicidae. It is an oceanodrama species with a worldwide distribution, excluding polar regions. The species is the world's longest bony fish, reaching a record length of 8 meters, or 26 feet. Libroides phytherophagus, also known as the Hawaiian cleaner wrasse, is a species of wrasse found in the water surrounding the Hawaiian Islands, to which they are endemic to. These cleaner fish inhabit coral reefs, setting up a territory referred to as a cleaning station. They obtain a diet of small crustacean parasites by removing them from other reef fish in a cleaning symbiosis. Parrotfishes are a group of about 90 fish species regarded as a family or as a subfamily of the wrasses. This group's largest species richness is in the Indo-Pacific. They are found in coral reefs, rocky coasts, and seagrass beds, and can play a significant role in bioerosion. A few mostly larger species, such as the green humphead parrotfish, Bulba metropodon metricantum, feeds extensively on living coral polyps. Sferna tiburo, or the bonnethead shark, is a small member of the hammerhead shark genus. The shark feeds primarily on crustaceans, consisting mostly of blue crabs, but also shrimp, mollusks, and small fish. Its feeding behavior involves swimming across the seafloor, looking for minute electromagnetic disturbances produced by crabs and other creatures hiding in the sediment. Bonnetheads also ingest large amounts of seagrass, which have been found to make up around 62% of gut content mass. The species appears to be omnivorous, the only known case of plant feeding in sharks. Lanternfishes are small mesopelagic fish of the large family Mycophidae, one of two families in the order Mycophiformes. The Mycophidae are represented by 246 species in 33 genera, and are found in oceans worldwide. Lanternfishes are aptly named after their conspicuous use of bioluminescence, typically covering their ventral end. The Colorado pike minnow is the largest saprinid species of North America and one of the largest in the world, with reports of individuals up to 1.7 meters or 6 feet long and weighing over 45 kilograms or 100 pounds. Young pike minnows up to 5 centimeters long eat clarissarians, copepods, and crinopod larvae, then shift to insects around 10 centimeters long, gradually eating more fish as they mature. Once they achieve a length of around 30 centimeters or a foot, they feed almost entirely upon other fish. Lithobates catusbianus, also known as the American bullfrog, or often simply known as the bullfrog in Canada and the United States, is a large true frog native to eastern North America. It typically inhabits large permanent water bodies such as swamps, ponds, and lakes. Bullfrogs are sexually dimorphic, with males being smaller than females and having yellow throats. The American toad, or Anaxiris americanus, is a common species of toad found throughout Canada and the eastern United States. Tadpoles of the American toad also produce toxic chemicals in their skin that discourage some potential predators. Fish have been reported to die after consuming one tadpole. However, most fish quickly learn to avoid eating American frog tadpoles before it's too late. Lithobates sylvaticus, also known as the wood frog, is a frog species that has a broad distribution over North America. 
extending from the boreal forest of the north to the southern Appalachians. The wood frog has garnered attention from biologists because of its freeze tolerance, relatively great degree of terrestrialism, interesting habitat associations, especially in peat bogs, vernal pools, and uplands, and relatively long-range movements. Dryophytes versicolor, also known as the gray tree frog, is a species of small arboreal holarctic tree frog native to much of the eastern United States and southeastern Canada. They are relatively small compared to other North American frog species, typically attaining no more than 3.8 to 5 centimeters, or 1.5 to 2 inches, in length. Their skin has a lumpy texture to it, giving them a very warty appearance. Ambistoma maculatum, also known as the spotted salamander or yellow spotted salamander, is a mole salamander common in the eastern United States and Canada. The spotted salamander usually lives in mature forests with ponds or ephemeral vernal pools for breeding sites. Spotted salamanders are fossorial. They rarely come above ground, except after a rain or for foraging and breeding. Neuroidea cepedon, also known as the common water snake, is a large species of non-venomous common snake in the family Colubridae. The species is native to North America. It is frequently mistaken for the venomous cottonmouth, but like the cottonmouth, it spends a lot of its time in the water. Crotalus horridus, also known as the timber rattlesnake, is a species of venomous, sometimes highly venomous, pit viper endemic to the eastern United States. It is the only rattlesnake species in most of the populous northeastern US. Their prey are mainly small mammals, but may also include small birds, frogs, and other snakes. Agkistrodon piscivorus, also known as the American water viper or cottonmouth, is a species of pit viper in the subfamily Crotalinae of the family Viperidae. It is one of the world's few semi-aquatic vipers. As an adult, it is large and capable of delivering a painful and potentially fatal bite. Pitoophis catenifer sai, also known as the bull snake, is a large, non-venomous colubrid snake. It is a subspecies of the gopher snake. The bull snake is one of the largest slash longest snakes of North America and the U.S., reaching lengths well over 2 meters, or 8 feet. The smooth green snake, Ophiodris vernalis, is a species of North American non-venomous snake. It is a slender, small medium snake that measures 36 to 51 centimeters, or 14 to 20 inches, as an adult. The smooth green snake is found in marshes, meadows, open woods, and along stream edges, and is native to the regions of Canada, the US, and northern Mexico. Plasiodon laticeps, otherwise known as the broad-headed skink, gets its name from the wide jaws, giving the head a triangular appearance. Adult males are brown or olive brown in color and have bright orange heads during the mating season in spring. Broad-headed skinks are semi-arboreal lizards that are strongly associated with live oak trees. Ophasaurus ventralis, also known as the eastern glass lizard, is a species of legless lizard in the family Anguidae, endemic to the southeastern United States. The streamlined, legless species is often confused with snakes. Glass lizards differ from snakes as they possess a movable eyelid and an external ear opening, both of which are absent in snakes. Macrocellus temenicki, also known as the alligator snapping turtle, is a large species of turtle in the family Chelaridae. The species is native to freshwater habitats in the U.S. It is one of the heaviest freshwater turtles in the world and is the largest freshwater species of turtle in North America, having an intensely strong bite force, especially for a turtle. Sternotherus carnatus, also known as the razorback musk turtle, is a species of turtle in the family Echinosternidae. The species is native to the southern U.S., and is almost entirely aquatic, spending most of its time in shallow, heavily vegetated, slow-moving creeks, ponds, streams, and swamps. Alligator mississippiensis, or the American alligator, sometimes referred to colloquially as gator, is a large crocodilian reptile native to the southeastern United States. Adult male American alligators measure 3.4 to 4.8 meters, or 11.2 to 15.7 feet in length, and can weigh up to 560 kilograms, or 1,200 pounds. This species is the sole representative of the order Crocodilia present on Pariahs. 
The Texas horned lizard, Phrynosoma cornutum, is a reptile common across desert regions in Central North America. Despite their fierce appearance, Texas horned lizards are extremely docile creatures. The Texas horned lizard is a sunbather and requires bright sunlight to produce enough vitamin D to survive. The species also has the ability to squirt an aimed stream of blood from the corners of their eyes and sometimes from their mouths at a distance of up to 1.5 meters or 5 feet. Gopherus flavomarginatus, also known as the bolson tortoise, the Mexican giant tortoise, or the yellow margin tortoise, is a species of tortoise from North America. One of the six North American tortoise species is by far the largest, having a carapace length of about 46 centimeters. The leatherback sea turtle, Dermachelis coriaceae, sometimes called the loot turtle or simply the luth, is the largest of all living turtles and the heaviest non-crocodilian reptile, reaching lengths of up to 1.8 meters or 6 feet and weights of 500 kilograms or 1,100 pounds. Castor canadensis or the North American beaver is one of two extant beaver species. Adults usually weigh from 11 to 32 kilograms or 24 to 71 pounds, with 20 kilograms or 44 pounds being most typical. Beavers are the second largest of all rodents, smaller than only the capybaras, and, like the capybaras, the beaver is semi-aquatic. The beaver has many traits suited to this lifestyle, like its large, flat, paddle-shaped tail and webbed feet. Perimeoidus subflavus, or the tricolored bat, is a species of microbat native to eastern North America. In the summer, females roost in small groups and males roost solitarily in tree foliage or beard lichen. It eats a diverse array of insects, foraging with a slow, erratic flight and navigating via echolocation. It is the smallest bat species in the eastern and midwestern U.S., with individuals weighing around 4.6 to 8 grams, or 0.16 to 0.28 ounces. The Virginia opossum, or Didelphus virginiana, commonly known as the North American possum, is the only opossum found north of Mexico. Its range makes it both the northernmost opossum and the northernmost marsupial in the world. It is a solitary and nocturnal animal about the size of a domestic cat, and is a very successful opportunist. The Virginia opossum is the only marsupial species present on Pariahs. Silvalagus aquaticus, also known as the swamp rabbit or the cane cutter, is a large cottontail rabbit found in the swamps and wetlands of the southern United States. The species has a strong preference for wet areas, and it will take to the water and swim. The pronghorn is a species of aerodactyl mammal indigenous to interior western and central North America. They eat a wide variety of plant foods, sometimes including plants unpalatable or even toxic to domestic livestock, though they also compete with them for food. Daspius novamictus, also called the nine-banded armadillo, is a mammal found in North, Central, and South America, making it the most widespread of the armadillos. It is an insectivore, feeding chiefly on ants, termites, and other small invertebrates. The armadillo can jump three to four feet, or 91 to 122 centimeters, straight in the air if sufficiently frightened. Bison bison, or the American bison, is a species native to North America. Sometimes colloquially referred to as buffalo, it is one of two extant species of bison. A bison has a shaggy, long, dark brown winter coat and a lighter weight, lighter brown summer coat. Male bison are significantly larger and heavier than the females. Sciurus carolinensis, aka the eastern gray squirrel, or simply the gray squirrel, is a tree squirrel in the genus Sciurus. It is native to eastern North America, where it is the most prodigious and ecologically essential natural forest regenerator, dropping nuts practically wherever they go. The eastern mole, Scalopus aquaticus, is a medium-sized, overall gray North American mole. The species prefers the loamy soils found in thin woods, fields, pastures, and meadows, and builds deep burrows characterized by discarded excess soil collected in mole hills. Its diet consists principally of earthworms and other soil life, but the eastern mole will also eat vegetable matter. Vulpes vulpes, also known as the red fox, is the largest of the true foxes and one of the most widely distributed members of the order Carnivora, being present across the entire northern hemisphere, including most of North America, Europe, and Asia, plus parts of North Africa. 
Ovis canadensis, commonly called the bighorn sheep, is a species of sheep native to North America. It is named for its large horns, which can weigh up to 14 kilograms or 30 pounds. The sheep itself typically weigh up to 143 kilograms or 315 pounds. Marmata monax, known as the groundhog of the woodchuck, is a rodent of the family Sciuridae, belonging to the group of large ground squirrels known as marmots. The groundhog is a lowland creature found across most of North America. Lemus utramicuratus, known as the brown lemmings, can be found in cold regions across America and East Siberia. The lemmings are brown in color, with a reddish brown back and rump, while the head and shoulders are grayish. In the winter, the coat becomes longer and grayer. Paramyscus maniculatus is a rodent native to Eastern North America and is most commonly called the Eastern Deer Mouse. They have large beady eyes and large ears, giving them very good sight and hearing. The giant pocket gopher, Orthogenomus grandis, is a species of rodent in the family Geomyidae. It is found in Mexico, Guatemala, El Salvador, and Honduras. The males are larger than the females and can be nearly double their weight. Ursus americanus, otherwise known as the American black bear, is a medium-sized bear endemic to North America. It is the continent's smallest and most widely distributed bear species. American black bears are omnivores, with their diets varying greatly depending on their season and location. Ursus arctos, also known as the brown bear, is a large bear species found across Eurasia and North America. In North America, the populations of brown bears are called grizzly bears, while the subspecies that inhabits the Kodiak Islands of Alaska are known as the Kodiak bears. Despite their reputation, most brown bears are not highly carnivorous, and they derive at least part of their food energy from vegetable matter. The reindeer, Rangifer tarandus, also called the caribou in North America, is a species of deer with circumpolar distribution, native to the Arctic, subarctic, tundra, boreal, and mountainous regions of northern Europe, Siberia, and North America. The reindeer is the only cervid species in which females also grow antlers normally. The American mink, Neogale vison, is a semi-aquatic species of mustelid. The American mink has a long body, which allows the species to enter the burrows of its prey. Its streamlined shape helps it to reduce water resistance while swimming as well. Canis lupus, known as the gray wolf, is a canid species that thrives in temperate and cold climates across the northern hemisphere. Of all members of the genus Canis, the wolf is the most specialized for cooperative game hunting as demonstrated by its physical adaptations to tackling large prey, its more social structure, and its highly advanced expressive behavior, including individual or group howling. It travels in nuclear families consisting of a mated pair accompanied by their offspring. Canis latrans, or the coyote, is a canid species that thrives across North America. Like the Eurasian golden jackal, the coyote is gregarious, but not as dependent on conspecifics as more social canid species like wolves are. This is likely because the coyote is not a specialized hunter of large prey as the latter species is. The basic social unit of a coyote pack is a family consisting of a reproductive female. Alces alces, also known as the moose, is the largest extant cervid species. Unlike most other deer species, moose do not form herds and are solitary animals, aside from calves who remain with their mother until the cow begins estrus, typically at 18 months after birth of the calf, at which point the cow chases them away. The white-tailed deer, Odocoileus virginianus, also known as the white-tail or Virginia deer, is a medium-sized deer native to North America, Central America, and South America as far as Peru and Bolivia. In the Americas, it is the most widely distributed wild ungulate. Lepus californicus, also known as the black-tailed jackrabbit or as the American desert hare, is a common hare of the western United States and Mexico, where it can be found at elevations from sea level up to 3 kilometers or 10,000 feet up. The young are born fully furred with eyes open. They are well camouflaged and are mobile within minutes of birth, thus females do not protect or even stay with the young except during nursing. Prochyon motor, or the raccoon, is the largest of the prochyonid family, having a body length of 40 to 70 centimeters, or 16 to 28 inches, and a body weight of 5 to 26 kilograms, or 11 to 57 pounds. 
It is usually nocturnal and omnivorous. The original habitats of the raccoon are deciduous and mixed forests, but due to their adaptivity, they have extended their range into mountainous areas, coastal marshes, and even urban areas. A peccary is a medium-sized, pig-like, hoofed animal of the family Tyasuidae. They are found throughout Central and South America, Trinidad and the Caribbean, and the southwestern area of North America. They usually measure between 90 and 130 centimeters in length, and a full-grown adult usually weighs around 20 to 40 kilograms, around 40 to 80 pounds. Megalaris galapavo also known as the wild turkey, is an upland ground bird native to North America, one of two extant species of turkey, and the heaviest member of the order Galliforms. It is the ancestor to the domestic turkey, which was originally derived from a southern Mexican subspecies of wild turkey. Despite their weight, wild turkeys, unlike their domesticated counterparts, are agile, fast flyers. An ideal habitat for one would be open woodland or wooded grasslands, and they may fly beneath the canopy top and find perches to rest. Gymnocyps californicus, also known as the California condor, is a New World vulture and the largest North American land bird. The California condor lives in rocky shrubland, coniferous forest, and oak savanna. They're often found near cliffs or large trees, which they use as nesting sites. Individual birds have a huge range and have been known to travel up to 250 kilometers, or 160 miles, in search of their favorite food, which is carrion. Falsipennis canadensis, known commonly as the Canada grouse or the spruce grouse, is one of the most arboreal grouse species, fairly well adapted to perching and moving about in the trees. When approached by a predator, it relies on camouflage and immobility to an amazing degree. Poecile carolinensis, also known as the Carolina chickadee, is a small passerine bird in the tit family Paridae. Adults are 12 to 13 centimeters, or 4.5 to 5.1 inches long, with a weight of 9 to 12 grams, or 0.32 to 0.42 ounces, and have a black cap and bib with white sides to their face. Bialophus bicolor, also known as the tufted titmouse, is a small songbird from North America, a species in the tit and chickadee family. Its habitat is deciduous in mixed woods as well as gardens, parks, and shrublands. Periocereus canadensis, also called the Canada jay, is a passerine bird of the family Corvidae. It is found in boreal forests of North America north to the tree line and in the Rocky Mountains. Canada jays live year-round on permanent territories in coniferous forests, surviving in winter months on food cached throughout their territory in warmer periods. Corvus corax, otherwise known as the common raven, is a large corvid species. Part of their success as a species is due to their omnivorous diet. They are extremely versatile and opportunistic in finding sources of nutrition, feeding on carrion, insects, cereal grains, berries, fruit, small animals, nesting birds, and food waste. Some notable feats of problem solving provide evidence that the common raven is unusually intelligent. Branta canadensis, or the Canada goose, is a large wild goose with black head and neck, white cheeks, white under its chin, and a generally brown body. It is native to the Arctic and temperate regions of North America. Like most geese, the Canada goose is naturally migratory, with the wintering range being most of the United States. Polyaetis leucocephalus, known commonly as the bald eagle, is a bird of prey found in North America. It is a sea eagle, and has two known subspecies. The bald eagle is an opportunistic feeder which subsists mainly on fish, which it swoops down upon and snatches from the water with its big talons. It builds the largest nest of any North American bird, and the largest tree nests ever recorded for any animal species, up to 4 meters or 13 feet deep, 2.5 meters or 8.2 feet wide, and 1 metric ton or 1.1 short tons in weight. Bubo scandiacus, known as the snowy owl, is a species of owl native to the Arctic regions of both North America and the Palearctic, breeding mostly on the tundra. Most owls sleep during the day and hunt at night, but the snowy owl is often active during the day, especially in the summertime. The snowy owl is both a specialized and generalist hunter. The Carolina duck, Aix sponsa, is a species of perching duck found in North America. It is also known as the drake wood duck, 
and is one of the most colorful North American waterfowl. Their breeding habitat is wooded swamps, shallow lakes, marshes, ponds, and creeks in the eastern United States, and northern populations tend to migrate south for winter, much like the Canada goose. Kyrena moschata, also known as the Muscovy duck, is a species present across the Americas from the United States to Argentina. It is a large duck, with the males around 76 centimeters or 30 inches long, and weighing up to 7 kilograms or 15 pounds. Females are considerably smaller and grow only around 3 kilograms or around 7 pounds, roughly half the male's size. Anas platyrinkos, known commonly as the mallard duck, is a medium-sized waterfowl species that is often slightly heavier than most other dabbling ducks. The mallard is omnivorous and very flexible in its choice of food. Passer domesticus, or the house sparrow, is a common bird to find across the world. It will eat almost any seed, but where it has a choice, it prefers oat and wheat. In temperate areas, the house sparrow has an unusual habit of tearing flowers, especially yellow ones, in the spring. Bombacilla gorillus, or the bohemian waxwing, are monogamous passerine birds that prefer coniferous forests, usually near water. Waxwings are primarily fruit eaters, but also consume insects during the breeding season. Mosquitoes and midges are their most common prey, but many other insects and some spiders are eaten by them. They catch them mainly by flycatching from an open perch, but sometimes are picked off of their vegetation. Whilst the main founder and funding force behind Parias' creation, Tex, wanted North American species onto his world, some species were added by him despite them not having a native presence on America. Some of these animals were around in North America for so long that Tex saw them as honorary American animals, and many others did the same. To many people alive at the time, they wouldn't even consider the organisms invasive. Equus ferris caballus known as the domestic horse, is an odd-toed ungulate species. Horses are adapted to run, allowing them to quickly escape predators, possessing an excellent sense of balance and a strong fight-or-flight response. Bus scrofa, also known as the feral pig, is a domestic pig that has escaped or has been released into the wild, and is living more or less as a wild animal, or one that is descended from such. Feral hogs were brought to be food and is a popular hunting animal. The Nile Monitor, Varanus niloticus, is a large member of the Monitor family. Their nostrils are placed high in their snouts, indicating these animals are very well adapted for an aquatic lifestyle. They are also excellent climbers and quick runners on land. Nile Monitors feed on a variety of prey items, including fish, frogs, toads, small reptiles and birds, rodents, other small mammals, eggs, invertebrates, and carrion. During the late 21st century, many species in the North Pole had to adapt rapidly to survive or face death. By the time Parias was founded, polar bears, narwhals, and belugas were practically extinct in the wild for quite some time. In their place, two hybrid populations emerged. Groller bears are the wild natural hybrids of polar and grizzly bears. Their impressive size and generalist eating habits make them a perfect hunting animal for the world of Parias. Narlugas are the wild, natural hybrids of narwhals and belugas. Being completely unlike their parents, they have six teeth on the bottom of their jaw that makes them perfect predators for shellfish on the seafloor. Due to the planetary scale of terraforming, some species brought over were not intended to be present. Tex wanted the terrestrial chordates of Parias to either have a native North American range or have lived there long enough to impact the cultures of America. However, Exceptions came about in one way or another. Paradisia apoda, or the greater bird of paradise, is a large frugivorous bird from Papua New Guinea. This one was brought over as human error, as incorrect genetic samples and eggs were taken from Earth. Hydrochorus hydrochirus, otherwise known as the capybara, is the largest extant species of rodent. The reason why it was brought to Parias was due to nepotism as Tex's daughter saw these species as her favorite. Balianiceps rex, otherwise known as the Shuville stork, is a large, pelican-like bird found in Central Africa. The reason why these were brought to Parias was also due to nepotism. 
as one of Tex's other children wanted to bring another species from Earth onto the planet. Rattus rattus, or the ship rat, is a small rodent found across the world and is an infamous invasive species. A ship bringing Earthling tourists accidentally brought live ship rats from Earth, and they got released onto the world of Prius. While the rats were not able to be exterminated fully, they were successfully restricted to a few cold islands off the coast of the supercontinent. The Eurasian kestrel, Falco tunuculus, is a bird of prey species belonging to the kestrel group of the falcon family Falconidae. A falconer's private collection of over two dozen kestrels was released after a massive storm on Piraeus. The falconer was heavily punished. The ring-billed gull, Laris delawarensis, is a large gull species that lives near lakes, rivers, or the coast in Canada and the northern United States. They nest colonially on the ground, often on islands. This bird tends to be faithful to its nesting site, if not its mate, from year to year. They were not intended to get onto Piraeus, but the species got here anyway. How they got there is currently unknown. When humanity was still in control of Piraeus, some genetic alterations were done on a few organisms for certain cases. From extremophile phytoplankton to make terraforming easier, to fruits that provide extra abundance in their harvest. The purpose of these animals and plants varied drastically. However, many lineages of organisms were altered to resemble Ice Age megafauna for eccentric earthlings to hunt. Many of these lineages weren't fertile due to the technological gap in knowledge at the time, or fell to extinction after humanity left Prius during the Space Beta conflict. But a few lineages survived. This includes Neomammoths were genetically modified organisms that had the base genome of the Asian elephant, but were given lots of fur-producing genes and some genes taken from Siberian mammoth remains. Due to this, the Neomammoth was basically the same as an Asian elephant, but only with some extra genetic modifications, allowing it to produce fertile offspring and thrive on Piraeus. Neocamelops is a very similar story. With the base genetics of extant camels, Extra genes from Alaskan camelop specimens were inserted into the camel itself, along with other genetic manipulation to recreate the species. Neo-passenger pigeons were the only avian resurrected species to be made, essentially being genetically modified Xenida doves with genes from the extinct pigeon inserted into their genomes. The species listed in this video and the last two videos constitute the only life from Earth left behind on Piraeus to evolve on their own. The next video will go into the abiotic factors of Piraeus 5 million years into the future, delving into everything from continental drift and climate change to atmospheric composition. If you want to catch this video when it comes out, make sure to subscribe. More content will be coming out in the future, so keep your eye out for future content from this channel. Thank you all for watching, and I hope you have a great day.